morning everyone, it's Richard from Zika Train and this is the 142nd canned workout, I'm getting confused actually with doing these pre-recordings as well, of Freak Out Fridays from the hardware. Right, so I think what we'll do is we'll go, stra go straight into it, we'll just break, go straight into the main menu. Hello everyone, good morning, I hope everyone's alright and uh, I hope we're going to have some fun actually, we're going to have a bit of difference as you can see today we're going to there, down there. Good morning. A little bit of a hard one today actually for us. It's going to be a bit interesting. It might be a quick one as well because you know this is only five exercises and it's repetitions. So we're going to go through them each individual exercise first. So we'll have a little bit of an extra break in between each one whilst I explain it. And then we'll try and go through the other two sets with minimal breaks. Now we'll need dumbbells. Mat, just as the shot, and water. <coughs> so, as of recording this, uh, I will be recording one later on for next Friday due to a family emergency which is basically ongoing at the moment. I have to do a load of stuff next week to try and help. Also, um, you might notice I'm wearing my phone as well again, just to try and get a few extra miles in. Anyway, uh, so I'm recording that, and also you probably might notice that as of re as I said as of recording this, oh, there's a huge spider hanging outside of my window. It's getting a little bit colder, and it's not even autumn yet. So I've noticed that my toes are starting to ache, my knees starting to ache, and my tennis elbow is really kicking up. So basically, just re just remember that the. Uh, when it gets colder, you need to actually warm up longer, especially the older you are. Okay, so if you're doing these sessions, we do have a set warm up period. You might just want to do a few walk, walk around laps, flexing your elbows, wiggling your uh, fingers, going up on your toes to get those ankles mobilized two or three minutes before the actual main session. Okay, so we don't want to actually. Uh, work on cold joints because as I've said we will have a set warm-up period right so I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll get we'll get into a few warm-ups so we're not going to do it with the clock we're just going to do ordinary warm-ups so first off because we're actually doing quite an intensive exercise we'll start off low we'll work high so what we're just going to do is we're going to raise up on our toes and down again up and down again that's it so we're just warming up the toes and the ankles. Three, two, one. Brilliant. Right, well, now what we're going to do is we're going to do bum kicks. So we're going to kick up to our bottom. So try and kick up just to get mobilised thighs. Good. In three, two, one. We're going to go into knee rises. Bring those knees up, get those hips mobilized now. Three, two, one. And we're going to then go back into a bodyweight squat. So hips back, go down as far as you can, and back up again. If you can go all the way down, Right down to the bottom, you can do, you don't have to, but it's advisable. Three, two, one, brilliant. Right, we'll just shake those legs off, shake the hands off, and we'll start the upper body bit. So we're going to, first off, we're going to twist our torso. Try and keep those hips straight. Try not to bend those knees either. Two, one, brilliant. Right, we're gonna do some bicep curls. Get a little bit of bob into it just to see if legs don't cool down as well. Also, it's good music for it. Brilliant, right, we're gonna Put a reach in, so we're going to go up, up, 
reach up. That'll reach over, but it's just to reach up. Get those shoulders working. Excellent, good. Right, let's wrap those arms around the body. Try and get that cold away. Walking on the spot. Feeling warmed up. I am. So I think what we'll do is we'll go into the first exercise. <coughs> so the first exercise is in and out squats. So you'll start with your feet together. What we'll do is squat back. Come up quickly, clench our uh, bottom as we come up, try and launch yourself into the air and go into a wide stance. Feet slightly facing outwards, knees following the toes, go back into a squat, up and back into, into, a, into the, the in. So in and out. Don't have to go super wide, just go shoulder width apart, that's fine. If you want to go a bit wider, you can do and you really do work the actual glutes and the inside of your legs. So one repetition is, that's one repetition, okay? So one in, one out. So we're gonna do 10 of those. Are you ready? I think we should start. So in your own time, let's go. So in, out, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant, excellent. Right, let's just show you that off a little bit. Got that old heart pumping, didn't it? Excellent, right, so mountain climbers. We're gonna do 50 of these, quite easy. So we're gonna get down into a uh, press up position. If you want, you can use a countertop. I'll use the bridge as a, so you just get yourself into a nice long diagonal shape and you're gonna be bringing your knees up. We're gonna be counting one knee. So one, so if you pick a knee to count on, that comes up, that's a half. Full one, half. Or full one and half, right? I'm gonna get down on the floor. So hands underneath the shoulders, hands slightly, slightly pointed outwards, 45 degrees I'd say. Nice straight. Your bum will raise up a little bit, doesn't matter as long as it's not fully raised and as your shoulders go back, try and keep your shoulders above your hands if you're doing it on the ground. So we're going to go up, like that. Okay, you ready? 50 of them. In three, two, one, and go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Brilliant. Doing well. Let you get your breath back quickly. And next one. Right, we're going to need a dumbbell. The only exercise we need, actually need the dumbbell for today, we only need one. Sorry, <coughs> a cup of coffee just almost choked me again. Right, so what we'll do is show the next one. So it's dumbbell lift off, as I like to call it, a Superman takeoff. 
So, it's a reverse lunge. When dumbbell goes to the side of your foot. What we're going to do is, we're going to bring the dumbbell up, tummy tight, glutes tight, up. And as we push it up, we're going to be standing up and trying to leap a little bit off that foot and bring the knee up. So it's back down again, down. So that's one repetition. We're going to do five on either side. If you want to do low impact version, you just go up, knee up, back down again. Reverse lunge. Easy version. Okay, if you don't want to use the weight, don't have to. That does add, add a lot of intensity to the exercise. Right. Are you ready? Let's go. And one, two, three, four, five. Change over. One, two, three, four, five. Brilliant. See how fast this session is going to be? But it's really high intense. So if you need a rest, have a rest. Next one, high knees. So high knees is quite simple. Stand up straight, tummy tight, glutes tight. One, one knee up, other knee up. You can put your hands out to actually, uh, just at hip height. If you want to knee like that, you can do. Or you can go a little bit higher, it's up to you. Low impact, you stay on the ground. High impact, you add a little bit of a hop in between. So we're doing 50 of these. Remember with the mountain climbers, one, half, or half, and one. Doesn't matter, better later than never, that's fine. Just, I'm just glad you're here. Right, so high knees, so 50 of them. Remember counting on one leg. So the first tap is one. Second tap is half, third tap is two. Right, are you ready? Now let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 50. <laughs> Five. Right. So, don't feel bad about not being able to keep up or even getting get to it faster than I am. If you get it faster than I am, you get an extra rest. If you don't do it and I finish, finish. Because you're working to your potential. That's the main uh, reason about the exercising system. You work to your potential, nobody else's. Okay, so don't feel forced that I haven't finished my high knees before we go into the next one. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna have a quick drink. And then we'll go into the last exercise. So the last exercise is bear crawls put and push back. Six of them. So you will need a little bit of a room around about seven or eight feet. And we will be crawling on the ground. So you might want to tuck your top into the back of your leggings. I'm going to tuck it into my, my phone pouch, my phone holder. So what we're going to do is, I might be obscured a little bit by the uh, text box. But what we're going to do is we're going to get down, hands slightly in front. So we're actually in a, almost like a frog position. For people who don't want to do this, they don't want to get down or got bad knees or anything like that, then what you can do is, do is you can either do high knees or uh, mountain climbers until we're finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up, 
legs back a little bit, so you've got your bottom in the air. What we're going to do is we're going to go alternate hand and the whole alternate leg. So one forward, two forward, three, L spider, four. Right, do four. You can do two if you want, but I've got enough room to do four. And then what we're going to do is push back. So when you push back, you can really feel your abdominals tighten. We're going to push back. Back into the first position. And then we're going to go back. That's one repetition. So there and back. So that's why there's only six. So I'll show you again. So it's alternate legs. So it's almost like Spider-Man. One, two, three, four. Push. Two, three, four. So four back, four forward. And when you say back, I'll be the first one, and then you count three more. Then you'll be back in the uh, same position. Right, are we ready? And one, two, three, four, push. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Now it's water break. So you can see that really gets your cardio going as well. Also it gets your abs going. Just be careful as well if you've got high blood pressure, that might not be the best exercise for you, so just do high knees. Mountain climbers might not be the best one for you either. So unfortunately you've got high blood pressure and you get uh, blood rushing to the head, you might have to just do high knees for the most of the exercises. Sorry about that, unfortunately I can't deal with everything together. <laughs> so, water break. So it's a really quick set of repetitions. So we'll be going through it. So just for latecomers, so in and out, to so squat with your feet together, to out, to in. That's one repetition. Mountain climbers, count on one knee. So as we said, you can do it high. So it's one, two, same knee. Dumbbell lift off. I want to do it with the dumbbell. Reverse lunge, punch up, knee up, and little hop. If you can, if you don't want to, doesn't matter. We'll do five on either side. Then high knees, quite easy. And then the bear crawls and push back. Right. Oh, it's getting warm now, isn't it? <laughs> I was cold when I first started. Right, so what we'll do is we'll do this through, and then I'll leave you, I'll do 10, and I'll leave a little bit of a gap people can either catch up or catch the breath. So it's best that way. But if you want to miss an exercise because you're out of breath and you don't think you can go on, please step out just for that exercise. As I said, this is high intensity. It's going to get your heart going and you'll find it really hard to breathe, especially with uh, everyone having COVID, long COVID, and uh, me now having asthma. I do find these more challenging, but Let's get on with it, shall we? Right, in and out squats. Are you ready? Three, two, one, and down. And out. And that's one. That's two. Three. Four, get off hips back. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, excellent, right. Wait for you to finish. I have another drink, guys, I can't really, I'm thirsty. Mountain climbers, 50. And we're tucking to the back. Another one knee. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Oh, slowly come up, get dizzy, rest on something, get that low blood pressure back going properly. Right, dumbbell lift offs, Superman. Do you remember the dumbbell again? Let me go off. Remember it's lunge back. We're going to go up, knee up, and ju little jump. Five on each side. And one, two, three, four, five. So sides. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. Little rest. Again, get your dizziness back, get your breath back. Nice deep breathe, breath, breathes. Terrible little English. High knees. Quite an easy one. So, use this as a rest one. Instead of actually putting the hop into it, just bring your knee up. Are you ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, two, three, I'm just going to say four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Get your breath back. I want to try and keep that heart rate nice and high. That's why we're minimizing the rest. I'm going to tuck in. Right, bear curls. These are hard. Are you ready? Go. And back. When you push back. One. Two. Three. Four. Keep it tight. Six. So roll yourself up. Or roll yourself over and have a breath. Water break. So it's a really quick session today, apart from the core. It could go on for ages. See how long it's taken so far. Only 24 minutes. So if we get the next one done, what I'll do is I'll time it. Get my watch. I'll see how long a round takes. I'll see how fast we can go through it. If you don't want to go as fast as I do, remember, have a break. Right, once you having a proper rest in between sets where you can breathe properly and get a sentence out without too much of a deep intake of breath, and you know, 
that's where you can start again safely. Right, otherwise, what you're doing is just working your cardio and cardio and cardio, you're putting stress on your heart, you're increasing your blood pressure. Right, I hope I don't have as many technical errors as I did on the recording session on Wednesday, because Wednesday, both, both the sessions inundated with technical problems. I mean, absolutely. It was, I'm just checking now just to make sure everything's working and running, because it was horrible. Sessions were good, technology, pitch. Right, are you ready? Let's record. In three, two, one, and let's go. Out, in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Leg shaking yet? Right, let's go and mount the climbers. Go, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, like you now, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, Whoa. it gets harder and harder, right, dumbbell lift offs, Breathing back, you can tell my heart rate quite high. When I get to a safe level, then I'll start again. Right, let's go. One, two, three, oh, oh, five. One, two, three, four. Five. High knees. I'm gonna keep it down now. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, the long three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine fifty. Right. Oh, bear crawls. Oh, you're just breathed, I am. Why did you come back? I don't believe it. I haven't recorded it, but twenty-four minutes on there. Are you ready? Let's go. And push back. One, two, not great for the wrist, I'm sorry. Three, four, five, six, and stop. Excellent, right. So, about four minutes. So four minutes all the way through. Not too bad actually. About 45 seconds to 50 seconds per exercise. 
even though some are faster than the others, that's fine. Let's have a quick rest. And okay. what we're going to do is now we're going to need to get out the mats or the cushions or whatever you want to use. Now it becomes, if you thought that was hard, I'm going to take this down here. My little notes. As you notice, on the side it says to failure. Okay, what I mean by that is technical failure, not physical failure. Technical failure is when your technique starts breaking down, you start bringing your head in, your knees start going all over the place, things like that. I don't mean, sometimes it can mean that basically you can't do any more muscular work. But as long as you can keep your technique going, you can go from that awful long time. So we're just gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to try and do as many as we can, twice. With the maximum, you can see there, yeah, it is oof, isn't it? So if you want to get in and out quickly, just do two rounds of that. That's your day set up. Right, so when I look at that, I'm looking at this. I'm going to get down on the mat. Ab crunches, we've got maximum of 60. That's an awful lot. I struggle with 50, so 60 is really, really, uh, really, really hard. Penguin crunch, maximum of 100. So we're going to tap each side, so that's one and two, three and four. That's easier, but you can count it as 50. Still a lot. Plank, I will need my watch for that. Maximum of two minutes, 120 seconds. That is an immense amount of time, but it gives you a little bit of a chance of a rest if you're waiting on other people. So, I'll put that down there, have a drink. And then you can laugh and see how many I can do. Right, so ab crunch. Feet shoulder width apart, almost a 90 degree angle, slightly bigger than a 90 degree angle, but it's what you're going for. That's more like a 90 degree angle, but I find that pulls a lot of the shins. Try to keep your feet and the knees in line with each other. Hands on your thighs, rolling up to your knees and back again. That's the easier one, harder one, across your chest. Remember, look at my chin. I can always keep a fist there. So if I got an apple, or in this case a lemon, I can keep that there at all times. I'm not squeezing it, I'm not making lemonade. But if you squeeze it, you make lemonade at your back of your spine, we don't want that. Oh, my hand that later on in the water. Oh, yes. Oh, grated over cooking fish. There you go, nice meal for you as well. Don't say I don't do things to you. Right, so, the other one is behind your ears and up. That's why I don't like people putting their hands behind their head because they, they immediately pull up the spine and they hurt themselves. Right, so let's try and do as many as we can. Are you ready? Are you set? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just get those shoulders off. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, remember to breathe, 29, 30, halfway through, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. Remember, if you if you a technical fail, stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Oh, this is where it's starting to pain now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoa. 60. Oh, I could just about do that. I won't be able to do that next time. And we are doing two rounds. So, if you did get a number, write it down. Next time you do this, try to do it to failure. See if you can improve on it. 
Right, so penguin crunch. Feet, very similar position. I put my slightly wider apart and slightly further down. So you pick your shoulders off the floor, but what you do is you tap each ankle. This is gonna be a lot harder because we've just done the abs crunch. So why don't we just stretch out? Lean back, hands up, stretch up above. Give those abs a little bit of a rest because this is going to be another corker. So we're going to be working more of the obliques. So up on your shoulders, up, well, up, up, up with your shoulders off the floor. Again, don't tuck your chin in. And let's touch those heels. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. I'll give you a breath. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. On a breath. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. Brilliant. Right. Just lean back, stretch out those abs because they will feel really tight. What I like to do to stretch my abs, I just look up as well as stretching up because the abdominals tend to attach to the chest area and when you look up that pulls the chest, the chest pulls the abs. Whoa. Right, how was that? Right, I'm going to give you an option of high plank or low plank, distinctly up to you. Most people prefer low plank. I think low plank's better to actually find failure because most people when they start failing the hands will come in and start grasping each other. It's like, please let me finish. So I'm going to do low plank. So high plank is just press up position. It works a lot of the shoulders a lot more than the low plank does. So up on your toes. That's high plank. Low plank. Equal sign with your arms, okay? Flat hands or grip. Death grip normally. Keep your elbows underneath your shoulders. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna go for up to two minutes. Let's go for it. I started watch. Good. I'll have to hold it. You might not be able to hold it as long because remember we've just done some really intensive core exercises and also not exactly the most interesting of uh, exercises. Try not to let your bottom sink down or sink up. Try not to pull your head in because that's another thing that people do with technical failure. If your bottom goes up too high, that's technical failure. If your bottom comes down too low, that's technical failure. If your legs start shaking and you put them down to your knees, just go down to your knees but try and keep it straight. But really, that's technical failure. We're out for 45 seconds. 50. I'm starting to sweat now. One minute. One minute ten. I do it. One twenty. Thirty seconds left. I'm shaking like a leaf. Twenty seconds left.
Ready, 10 seconds from now. Five, four, three, two, one, and cut. There we go, that was two minutes. You might not have got to be able to get two minutes. It was hard. And we're gonna try and go through that. I will not be able to get the maximum because we've just done that and we've really fatigued ourselves. The idea is not to match, match it, it's to just go try and get to half of it. Because you really have uh, worked really hard on those uh, abdominal exercises and core. So we're going to have a quick rest, have a quick drink. There we go, remember to. But I will count up to two minutes for that. But I won't be able to do two minutes. I can tell you that for now. If you can, oh, you're better than I am. And there's some people which are super more athletic than I am. I'm not pretending to actually be the be, all, be end and end all of all at fitness. <clears throat> I just say, do what you can. Right. <coughs> Abdominal crunches. If you did your hands up above your head, you might find it easier regressing to your shoulders. It's, well, it feels easy, but it's not. Are you ready? I'm going to go through my shoulders anyway, because I find it, because my arms were coming up. Are you ready? And, maximum 60, going for all. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, <coughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, that's halfway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, I'm calling it there, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. See, I, I started buckling my knees in, <coughs> which means the inside of my legs are a bit tighter than, than my actual uh, hips. So I need to work on my hips. That, those started closing in. So I know that basically that my core was starting to really give up. So I need to work on my hips. <coughs> right, oh yes. Penguin crunches, maximum of 100. Shall we see how many we can do? I'd love to know your scores. Unfortunately, I can't see the chat at the moment because there's sun so bright coming through that it's just completely black. So I'll read it in a minute. Right, so up off the deck. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, Oh, it five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. That's actually a hundred. Because I, I only counted on one heel. So that was fifty times two is a hundred. I did it. Brilliant. Okay, that was that done. I thought, why is it taking longer? Then I realised I was trying to concentrate on something. I was trying to think about what I was doing next. I forgot about the counting method. <clears throat> now comes the tricky one, <clears throat> the plank. I'll have a quick look at the chat whilst everyone's recovering. 
Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> right, we're ready. I've got sweat pouring off me. Surprising with how tiring core exercise can do. Mainly because you've got to breathe at the same time as actually activating your core, and that really wants to stop you from breathing. So try and breathe through it. Never hold your breath for more than a couple of reps. You shouldn't really be holding your breath, uh, breath for more than one rep. Right, you ready? Get down into, into the position. Toes on the ground. Let's go. Ten seconds gone. That might, might have felt like a minute, but it's ten seconds. I started shaking already. How about you? Twenty. <clears throat> Thirty. Forty. Whoa. Still going. <clears throat> One twenty. Let's make it a bit more interesting. <laughs> One thirty five. 15 seconds left for you troopers. 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to move the mats away. Right. How was that? Is that alright? Good. Hope everyone's feeling alright now. Get up, just move around a little bit. Get, a, get that clinching out of your abs. <laughs> just move around a little bit. You're not thinking about your legs anymore, are you? All right. Hey, 100 on Penguin, one minute on the plank. Ooh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, don't bother about counting the abs if you've actually done 100 on the uh, Penguin, because straight after that, my goodness, that is hard. I must be, I do like the Penguin Crunch. One of my personal favorites. Name invented by my daughter. Right. So let's do some stretching, shall we? I think what we'll do is first off we'll stretch, we'll get into a long lunge, and what we're going to do is try and shove that heel back first, as far back as you can. It should be unpleasurable but not painful. So what we're trying to do is actually really stretch the calf muscle. And the music stopped. So what we're going to do is going to roll up a little bit onto our toes and push that back down into your toes. So you're really trying to push into your big toe. That's stretching the bit underneath your foot, your plantar fascia. And if you notice, your foot tends to kink out a little bit. That's fine. As long as it doesn't kink inwards too much. Because that's when people spin their foot around too much. It can actually pull the plantar fascia and actually injure you. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to push forward, really clench those, uh, those glutes, 
really try and get that hip working as well. Two, one, and we'll change sides. So, heel down, as far as you can. If you can't get down to the floor, it doesn't matter. You might have a really long stance like I have. Because the closer in the stance you get, the more chance of actually getting the heel down to the ground. But as long as you're actually stretching your calf, it doesn't matter. Toes into the ground. Push really into those toes. Someone's uh, steering sounds really creaky. I like my knees. Right, let's go down a little bit. Push forward, clench, that, clench those cheeks. Yeah, everyone's shaking, I know. Three, two, one, and up. Excellent, let's do the last stretch. Hands together, into the lift up, push up. <coughs> Blast you out with the cough, sorry. And release. And thank you very much for coming. That was a really advanced session, that. Again, if you want to do something quickly, do one, two sets of the one to fives. That will get you, uh, get you really, really going. That will get your exercise going, get your cardio going. Get the calories burnt, and then you can go. Basically, it's high intensity training, interval training. That's what we've just done. So that was really hard. I'm really proud of you all, especially if you got through it. Oh, right. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure if that's a I thank you either. That's a, it's like a, well, yeah, do, do I really want to thank you for that one? <laughs> but thank you all for coming. I hope you have a really nice day and I'll see you live a week on Tuesday. Okay, remember everything's on recording due to a family crisis for next week. Uh, I will be recording uh, one very soon, uh, though I might have a rest. I think I'll have a brew. And hopefully we might have a special guest. Okay? Return of somebody. So let's hope that happens. Right, so have a lovely day. The sun's coming out now and recording of this, so brilliant. There we go. Secret training can bring out the sun. There you go, that's a t-shirt for you. Right, thank you very much all for coming. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep healthy, happy and safe and God bless. I'll see you all later on. Wow, I've got my end spiel done. Woohoo!